Hi, uh, I'm Ari Lex here, and with me is Brian Brondoing, the winner of our first draft open here at Star City Games Open Series Pittsburgh. Yep. Um, so, what what were you drafting? Um, like I haven't drafted the format much, so I didn't know exactly like what I was doing, but I just drafted green like every draft, okay. and it, like I haven't lost a game in any of the drafts I've done with green. So. Okay. Um, any like general thoughts? Maybe underrated cards, overrated cards. Um, I don't know. I think uh, I think Land of War Elves is really good right now. To be honest, I don't know how people rate it, but mm -hmm. like I actually second picked a Land of War Elves, oh. like after a first pick Primeval or Primordial Titan. Or uh, the Hydro. The Hydro. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. The, the du doubling in it. Yeah. 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 That guy's awesome. Yeah, I, I won one game just like casting him for two. Yeah. And then I ended up doing like 30 some damage yeah. with him like a few turns later. Yeah, huge real fast. Yeah. Um, so, you like green. Uh, what are your thoughts on how fast the format is? Is it, does it play out as fast as they, uh, as it seems like it should? You know, I made the comparison to some Zendikar games, so what do you think? Um, I think it definitely can. Like, it definitely has the potential to. I personally haven't experienced that because I keep drafting decks with like four Arachnus webs or whatever. So. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> My games like keep going really long. Just gotta bog them down, play the bigger creatures. Yeah, like I, I think the green deck is good against like most decks that people are drafting because they're either drafting like blue white flyer type decks, yeah. and uh, like all the spiders just shut that yep. down, or they're drafting like the red black uh, bloodthirst decks, yep. and like the webs and spiders shut that down too. Okay. So. Uh, so I've been told that you're on a bit of a roll this past few months. Um, yeah. So you want to go out like I know you top in this morning. Or are you top four this morning, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, what about before that? Uh, last weekend, I I guess two weekends ago in Cincinnati, I finished ninth in Legacy. Okay. And then... Uh, oh, yeah, you were playing Squire Folk. Yeah. I, yeah. I, yep, there we go. Yep, yep. I was playing uh, Squire and Merfolk, so... And just kind of uh, j just because? Yeah, like, I basically... Um, like, I borrowed the deck from someone, and, like, he hadn't updated it in, like, three or four months. And I just didn't have like anything of value in the sideboard. Yeah. So I was just like, Squire. Okay. Fair there. enough. Yeah. I'll give you that. Yeah. And then uh, anything before that, or? And then uh, last weekend uh, they had like the double PTQ weekend in Richmond, yeah. and I ended up finishing second in both. Ooh. So. I, I see that. That must have been what uh, Riki Hayashi was uh, telling me to ask you about. So. Yeah. Yeah. It was. It was pretty frustrating. To I can. Honest. I can imagine it would be. Yeah. So, yeah. Just like running, running Cobblade. I think that deck is. Absurdly good. Yeah, it's pretty good right now. Yeah. Um, back to limited. What bombs did you have to beat? Uh, let's see. I had I beat a Sphinx, the Factor Fiction Sphinx. Yep. Um, other than that, I mean, if you consider Sarah Angel a bomb, then yeah. But yeah. Other than that, like, I didn't have to beat it. I didn't have to beat any bombs. Like most of the decks were pretty consistent. They didn't really have any. Like, Fair enough. So. Um, so I think we're gonna get back to the Legacy Open, but. Uh, Thanks for stopping by. Congrats on your win. Yeah. And uh, hope the streak continues. And uh, hope to see you around in the upcoming events. Right, thanks. Uh, and I'm Ari Lax. This is Brian Rondur. And he is our first draft open winner of today. Uh, the other draft open is currently ongoing. And we're going to get back to legacy coverage in just about two seconds here. So.